Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I have a new layout to share for Pink Fresh Studio and I'm going to be using the My Favorite Story collection and I'm also going to be using one of the new cut files that you can find over in the Pink Fresh Studio store. It coordinates with the plant kindness paper that is in this collection. I'm going to use it a little bit different. Um, I, I believe this is designed to be a print and cut feature. Uh, plant kindness is the pattern paper that's got all the florals and leaves on it. They're pink and blue and yellow and really, really pretty. And so all of these shapes in this cut file coordinate with the shapes on that paper. But I'm going to use it in a different way. I'm going to make my own flowers. And so I just kind of enlarged a few shapes and shrunk a few shapes. And I'm going to make my own wonky flowers here. So I cut them on white cardstock and I'm just going to cover all of it with gesso here and then I'm going to peel these off of my mat and it is a little bit harder to peel up shapes whenever I apply gesso to it while it's still on the cutting mat but they still peel up okay and this does not harm my mat because the gesso is not touching the mat but you can kind of see what I'm talking about here these are shapes that are basically floral clusters but I'm going to kind of just make them big wonky flowers and then I also cut out some of the stems with the leaves and so all of these are prepped with gesso and I've got my Pink Fresh Studio watercolors there I've got my little uh, paint tray that I use only for my Pink Fresh Studio colors so I basically always have color in there and I'm just going to kind of go for it and start to color these up in purples and pinks, yellows, blues, all the colors. And so on this first one here, I spritzed it with water first and I actually put way too much water on it. But um, yeah, this, this is something that you could do if you like mixed media, but you are hesitant to make a mixed media background. This is a great way to do basically little bits of mixed media. So... Uh, all these flowers are going to look different. You can customize the colors. I'm using a lot of different colors here. I'm using, on that first one, I used the lavender and the bubble gum. And then um, on this one, I'm using the sky blue a little bit with the aquamarine. And then you saw how I put a big glunk of green on there that was way too much. I just dabbed it up with a napkin. The gesso is what allows that to happen. So if you mess up on this, you can just dab it up and no harm done you know the cardstock is not going to rip or tear because you've got that protective coat of the uh, gesso on there so this yellow is sunshine mixed with a little bit of clementine which is the orange and a touch of the bubblegum pink so you can just kind of play around and mix and match the colors i'm adding in water as i go um I, I want to leave a little bit of white space on some of these flowers just to you know give them that watercolor look but yeah, you, you can't really mess this up. If you have a brush, you have some watercolors, you have some napkins and some water, you just go for it. And this was kind of fun because this is considered, you know, the messy part of this layout, I would say. Uh, I usually tend to make mixed media backgrounds, but I thought I would do something a little bit different here. And I wanted to showcase another way that you could use this cut file to make your own flowers. And I wouldn't even know what kind of flowers these are since they're they're meant to be clusters of, you know, the die cut flowers. So you can just kind of uh, call them whatever you want. But I think when you see what I'm going to do with them, it will make more sense. But yeah, this was a lot of fun to just get messy and go for it here. So you can kind of see how these are turning out, even though they're wonky shaped. I think they're going to look cool when they're all clustered together. So now I'm going to do the same process here with the leaves. I'm going to use, there are three different green shades in the Pink Fresh Studio watercolors. You've got Key Lime, Emerald City, and Aquamarine. And I'm using all three of them. Just kind of a little bit of each one, adding some water, letting the colors blend together, dabbing a little bit up with a napkin to lighten it up. And it's very easy to achieve a multicolored leaf stem just by doing this. And a little bit of the sky blue mixed in as well. Um, I think that sky blue is my favorite of all these colors because blue is my favorite color. And that one is just really, really pretty to me. But yeah, now I cut way more flowers than I wind up using. So 
Um, all right, here's my photo, a really pretty photo of my oldest daughter from, I think this is 2014, so long time ago. And then I'm going to use this pattern paper here with the four triangular shapes on it. I have not used that one yet, and I have used the back of my second sheet, which is this blue color. So I wanted to have a blue section on this paper instead of two pink sections. However, my my paper that I've already used, I didn't have quite enough of it to fit that lower pink section. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of cut and paste and make it work. So I'm going to just use my ruler here. And this is why I do not really measure. I, this is why I like mixed media and messy, crooked things, because I am terrible with measuring. Um, this took me way too long to measure and cut and, <laughs> but I finally got it. Yeah. Anyway, it's still not right, but I work at it. it. took me way too long, but okay. So I got it fixed and it's still a little crooked, but that's okay. I like the blue section. We're going to make it work. We're going to go for it. So now what I thought I want to do is kind of do a little bit of tone on tone, which is adding all the yellow flowers onto the yellow section, all the pink flowers onto the pink section, and so on and so on, and just see how it looked. Um, like I said, I, I don't wind up using all of the flowers that I cut. I don't use any of the purple ones or the orange ones, but I wasn't sure. You know, when I first started out, I just wanted to color all the flowers and then just kind of go go for it after they were finished. And so this is the result. And I really like how this is looking. Um, I love the tone on tone effect and having the green stems kind of scattered about. So that's kind of the design I want to go for. I really like the photo right in the center of where all the four corners meet or the four points meet. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of gesso on the background. Now, I'm not going to do a complicated background on this one. I just kind of wanted to fade out some of the color right where uh, it's going to show right above the flowers on each section, just to kind of soften it up and give it a little bit of depth. Um, and I love using gesso for that. So um, this, this looks like I'm kind of just messing up the background, but you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. This, this white gesso is just going to give it little, a little bit of a, a white hazy effect. And um, yeah, and the only other thing I'm going to do to the background is add some white splatters. And to do that, I love to use just cheap white acrylic craft paint, water it down a little bit and then just take your brush and splatter it down. And I found that this is the best and fastest and cheapest way to get white splatters that don't disappear when they dry. Because I know I've used lots of white sprays from different, you know, different uh, stores or different brands and they always disappear. So anyway, I let that dry and then I got out my sewing machine and used white thread and just did some very close zigzag stitching along each of the lines. And I think that makes such a difference. It just gives it some texture, it gives it some interest, and it really makes each triangle really crisp and separate, which I love. So now I'm going to move on to embellishments. So I know exactly where the photo is going to go. And then I'm going to come back to layering all those flowers in. And I'm kind of bending up the edges so they curl up off the page and create some really neat depth. And now you can kind of see the effect that I was going for here. And I, I don't even think it matters that these aren't any particular flowers. They're just kind of wonky looking shapes, but they make really pretty flowers. Once they're all colored and layered together like this, and when you add in the stems, instant flowers. So I'm going to do my best to keep this tone on tone. I'm going to leave the white area white for now. And I did want to add in some of the die cuts. Um, this is the My Favorite Story floral die cut pack. It's basically all flowers and leaves. And so I'm just going to cut into some of them. Um, I tend to struggle to use big die cuts like these. So I'm not going to hesitate to just cut out flowers from each one of them. Um, and that's all I'm going to do here. I don't see any problem with if you have a die cut or a shape or something and you don't want to use the whole thing, there's no rule stating that you have to. You have 
every right to hack it up and cut it up and use it as you want to. And so that's what I was doing. I just cut out a couple of flowers to glue here and there. So I got some blue ones down there also. And I'm going to start to glue all this down. I don't want to move it. So I'm just using my little glue bottle there with my Scotch Tacky Glue and very carefully gluing all those leaves and flowers down. Now I went into the pack of tags that we get in the My Favorite Story kit or collection and I wanted to add something over on the left where all the white space is and I thought about tucking in one of these tags but I didn't want that bold pink color over over there. I've already got enough pink over on the right and I wanted to keep the colors sectioned off. So I want to make this a very, very soft pink, really, really light. So I just, once again, you know me and my gesso obsession, I just smudged some gesso over it and made it lighter. And I'm actually going to add more gesso to it in a little bit and make it even lighter than it is because it's still a little bit too pink. Um, I'm going to add more texture using some thread. I've got all the colors over there from my stash that match. So I've got the yellow. I'm just going to tuck in a little tangle of that. I'm going to mix and match two different shades of pink. I've got a, a bold pink, kind of like a hot pink, and then a light pink color. I'm going to just kind of tear, um, or not tear, but do two big pulls of each color and then blend them together for um, kind of, because I've got some light pink and some dark pink over there, and I wanted to kind of get both of those in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing with blue down here at the bottom. I'm going to go with kind of a darker navy blue because there are some flowers that match that color as well as the lighter blue. And I think this really just adds to the texture. It adds some interest and some more color. And it just kind of adds to the whimsy of everything. I love Tangled Thread. And uh, it's, it's something easy and quick to add in in a couple places if you need just that something extra. All right, so I did add more gesso to that tag. Um, I took a break and just did that and let it dry. And then I pulled out some cord from my stash to add through the little hole there. I always like to add something through the hole of a tag to kind of give it a finished effect. And then I'm just gonna layer it right there to the left of the photo and uh, give something in that section. And, and that's actually where I'm gonna wind up adding a title later. So everything is glued down. I'm gonna glue down the picture at this point since I know that's exactly where it's going to go. Make sure it's straight because I'm terrible with when I want things to be straight I'm terrible at doing that so I'm going to make sure it's right. Alright so I pulled out all the rest of the embellishments and these are these really cute little chipboard circles and of course they match so I'm going to tuck in one on each color area. I've got a yellow one, a pink one, and a blue one with a cute little camera. The pink circle says, find your voice. And then I think the yellow one says, remember this. And uh, these are the puffy stickers. I tried a couple of those, but I felt like if I added too much more to those floral areas, it was going to get too busy. And so um, I didn't want to take away. Oh, there's my daughter sticking her head in the frame with her little orange Cheerio bowl. <laughs> she, she is obsessed with Cheerios. And she loves that little orange bowl. And she wants it full at all times. So anyway, all right. Um, I decided to go with this light pink color over here on the left. Even though it's a white section, I wanted a little bit of color. So I went with the softer, lighter pink. And then I decided to do some die cutting here. This is the, what are these called? Let me check. The Classic Words Die Set, available in the Pink Fresh Studio shop. And they are lots of fun words. So I cut beautiful on that matching blue paper, and I'm gonna incorporate that somehow. Um, I tried a couple other embellishments there, but it was just, like I said, it was adding too much and it was too busy. Um, I decided to go with these white, puffy alpha stickers from this collection and I'm just going to uh, you know do white on white but you can actually see them really really well and my title is going to be be still my heart and I cut another one of the light pink flowers from that cluster of die cut there to add over here to nestle in in between the H and the M and the S and I just love this picture of my daughter she just looks so peaceful and um yeah, I just thought that was a 
a nice title because when I look at this picture, that's kind of what I say, you know. Um, I have so many pictures of my daughters just caught in those moments of, oh, you know, when you look at your kids and you're like, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. How is she mine? And so that's, this is one of those pictures. And so that is the title that I settled on. And I'm going to add in a little bit more thread over here to the left. And that's just the, the light pink color. I actually pulled too much in the beginning, so I cut it in half. And then this is just going to add a little bit of texture over there to that side. And I'm going to glue all that down. I'm actually going to glue down all of those letters in the title because I did have gesso on that sec on that section right there and uh, they do not stick to gesso because gesso's kind of got some grit to it and uh, nothing sticks to gesso. So add a glue to the title and then I decided since I had the word heart in the title I wanted to add some hearts and so I go to the puffy word sticker sheet here and there's some hearts that match all the colors and so I'm gonna just tuck in a couple of those I felt like that wasn't too busy because they are basically tone on tone and they're really small and I'm just kind of tucking them in here and there and so they're just accents basically but um, I do add glue to those also and then I had two of the light pink color to match that flower over by the title and I love the white on white title. I love that it's subtle, but you can still see it. I was very happy with that decision that I made. Um, I'm going to come in with some of the enamel dots from this collection. And I'm going to add some of them to the centers of some of these wonky flowers. And they match perfectly, as always, because everything is from the same collection. I love that. And I love that you can make the watercolors match any collection in Pink Fresh Studio. As you can see, perfect match. I'm almost done. Let's see, the last thing I'm going to do is come in with my gold metallic pen and I'm going to write the journaling on the white section because it's got a very faint grid pattern on it and it's got lines already there. So that's where that's going to go. And then off camera later I decided to add some gold splatters which I did and I did add the date but that's the final layout. I love how this turned out. I think it's really really pretty and it was so much fun to make those flowers again check the uh i'm gonna link it down below but it's in the pink fresh studio store under cut files it's called plant kindness and you can see it there um, as well as all kinds of other fun cut files and they're also free cut files make sure you check the pink fresh studio fans facebook page because all the time they're uploading free cut files and you can get those there and yeah, I'm going to link everything that I use down below, all the dyes and the collection and everything. And please let me know if you have any questions. I will be more than happy to answer. But thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.